Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on a, on a Ryobi 40 volt, 300 watt inverter. And so what this is, is it's a nice device that basically puts out 120 volt AC power using a 40 volt battery. So, such as this right here. So this is basically, you have to, you have to use their battery pack. It's a proprietary battery pack, but if, if, you're like, uh, if you're like me, where you have one or two or three of these products lying around in your, uh, in your yard, it's kind of handy to have because a lot of times these batteries will be fully charged and just sitting around and just lying around. So like, why not be able to use them if the power goes out? Or, if, or even if you just want to go on a camping trip or something and you just want some power you know, for a brief amount of time, it's nice to be able to just stick this guy in here. And so basically... All you have to do is snap that in there and it's as simple as that and then you just push the button and you have the green light and you're, you're good to go. You got 120 volt AC power coming out there right now. Now it also has a USB port type A and also type C and this puts out about 2.5 amps. Well, well, you know, 300 watts is approximately what it puts out as a max. It also has a little light right here if you push this right here. You get a nice LED light right there, so you can kind of use it as a lantern when you're walking around. Like, you know, right when you want to, right when the power goes out and you find your, your inverter and you plug in your battery, you can kind of just walk around with it at that point and go wherever you need to go. So that's kind of nice to have a nice little, that's about how I would use it. Also, if you push it again, it does a flashing mode. This is how I intend to use the product. The next time the power goes out, I'll be able to plug in my laptop, my internet connection, my cell phone could be charging, and I'd be able to have a light or two on, which I think is just, you know, it's, it's basically all the basic requirements I would need to just keep on working. I mean, I could watch a video, I could edit a video, I mean, I could be doing all kinds of things, and this is all I would require, and it only uses about 22 watts of power in this mode, and of course, this thing's capable of putting out 300 watts. So it's sure a lot better than looking at candles or cuddling up in a ball and going to sleep. I hate it when the power goes out and, you know, it's like 7 o'clock at night and it's dark out and it's like, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't want to sit here and look at candles all night. So it's like, you know, it kind of allows me to keep on working. So I think for $80, if it can do that, it's worth every penny. So this particular setup right here, uses about 21 watts. I don't know if you can see that right there. Tilt it up here. About 21 is how much current is being drawn out on this uh, system right here. That's wattage. Amps is about 0.28. See that? Or 0.29. And the voltage seems pretty consistent at about 119 or so. That's how much the inverter puts out. That's pretty much right about where you want it to be. And so theoretically, with this being a 300 watt inverter, you could theoretically have 10 systems just like this. Ten... Oh, now that's interesting. So this has happened three times in a row now. This thing is uh, cutting out for no particular reason here. That's kind of kind of weird, kind of disappointing here. I'm not sure... The fact that that's happened three times now, it actually happened another time when I was trying it out before. That's kind of uh, discouraging here. I'm not sure if I have a defective unit or if this thing's just not functioning properly because it should be able to handle 22 watts. I mean, this is a 300 watt inverter here. Not a, it's not like it's being overpowered or anything or, you know, it's not like it's being stressed or anything. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, so I tried unplugging a few things here. I took away the internet connection and I also unplugged the computer here and I tried it out a couple more times. It did it again. Three minutes, then it was two minutes, and then it did two minutes again. So this thing's not even lasting two minutes before it's crapping out here. I don't know what is going on here. So I'm going to try replacing the battery. I've got two others and let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, we're going to try this again. I got a brand new battery in here now. Oh, we're not brand new, but a fully charged battery here. And it's a much bigger battery too. So it's a 6 amp hour. This is my biggest battery. Newest battery. 
So if it doesn't work, then we definitely have a problem here. So let's see what happens here. All right, so it's been over 15 minutes, no flickering, no problems whatsoever. So it's able to to work pretty good as long as the battery is pretty well charged. I mean, I, w I would say on, on my experience that I just experienced right now that at least a 50% state of charge is going to be required for this thing to operate correctly. So my final thoughts are, I like the product a lot. I would like it better if it didn't have that one flaw with having to have a battery that needs to be 50% charge or better. I think that's a major flaw and it could be approved upon. Otherwise, the thing is excellent. I mean, I like it a lot. I mean, for one pound, 10 ounce lightweight device that you can just grab in a heartbeat and slap in a battery, especially when you've got a bunch of these around and just, you know, when the power goes out, there's nothing else that I could do quicker to get back up and running faster. I mean, if you have a gas generator, okay, that's, um, you know, going to take time. If you, if you plug into your electric car, that's another way to do it. I've done a video on that, but that takes time to run cords and all that stuff. I mean, it's really quite time consuming. You could buy a Tesla power wall for your house and you would have power instantly and nothing would be better than that, but that's like $8,000. I mean, okay, that's something else. That's a totally different product. I mean, this thing is an $80 product that, you know, will provide most of what you need for a brief power outage. And, you know, for the money, I just don't think that there's anything that could beat it, especially if, well, obviously you have to have their batteries in order to make it work. So don't go out and buy a bunch of their products just to get to the inverter. <laughs> you know, if you already got their products, you know, why not use their batteries? Put their batteries to good use. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.